Cool. <laughs> Take two. Hi, it's Wendy, and I'm here in Boulder. As many of you know, I just recently had the courage to just pick up and move and go to a place I'd never been to before and meet new people and friends that I've not met yet. And so I chose Boulder, Colorado because everything I read about Boulder is that it's a really friendly town. It's very down to earth. Um, you know, the people are, are kind of more earthy and organic here and uh, moving from Orange County, which by the way, everyone in Boulder says behind the orange curtain, that's what they call it. But moving from Orange County, it's just a huge change. It's, it's so different, I can hardly believe it. Like um, I've been here a couple of weeks and I haven't been flipped off while I'm driving one time. <laughs> the only sign that people seem to shoot at me is this one, <laughs> little peace sign. So behind me right here, this is the deck from my bedroom. These are the flat irons and um, Boulder is really well known for these flat irons and they're big pieces of rock that just come up at angles. It's really beautiful. There's a lot of rivers and streams and beautiful hiking trails and waterfalls and fun things to do. So I'm really, really happy I'm here. If you're in the area, uh, look me up. Seriously, look me up on Facebook or something and maybe we'll go have coffee or lunch or something. Well, anyway, today what I want to talk to you about, in addition to what it takes to have the courage to make a change in your life, just because you can or because you um, have been avoiding making change. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you about is an email that I got from someone named Keith and I thought this was so interesting that I would share it with everybody. This is about NLP rapport, matching, mirroring, pacing, leading. Now some of you may have heard of this and you know that having rapport is really important. Wow, the sun is getting really bright all of a sudden. Woo, it's getting hot out here. Well, that's the other thing about being in uh, Colorado. The sky is so blue. In Orange County, it was always kind of a nice hazy sort of a color, but it's super, super blue up here. Okay, so getting rapport means matching, mirroring, pacing, and leading. So what Keith says is he tried to learn NLP and he just couldn't do it because it was so hard to do the rapport building. He says, I've tried breathing like them, but when I do that, they start moving or talking with their hands. And at that point I lose my rhythm. I don't understand about having rapport. Um, I don't know how to get past having these skills. So what, what you're taught very often in NLP is that to gain rapport with someone, you have to match their exact movements. So if they tilt their head, you tilt your head. If they scratch your cheek, you scratch your cheek. If they rub their nose, you rub their nose. And it feels pretty silly because you're doing everything exactly like they are. But really, it's not so much about the little techniques of matching what they're doing as it is um, to simply be in that same energy as them. So if someone's kind of laid back and slow talking and, and they're kind of just you know, someone who stops and thinks and ponders things for a while and you come on like all excited and off the charts and so happy and you've just got everything to tell them and share with them and your body's going in all these directions and they're just like, hmm, so yes, this is my style and I'm kind of slow and thoughtful. Well, you can see where that's a mismatch. So what you're trying to do is not mismatch when you're with someone, to be in rapport with them, simply match their style. Now, there are people who are um, really fine tuning the rapport thing and they want you to even breathe with the other person. It is an amazing way to gain rapport, to simply breathe with them. But what I would like you to do is look at kind of the overall picture. Do you have a similar style, a similar tone to your voice, a similar speed to your delivery? Uh, you do want to kind of stand like them, sit like them, have a similar kind of an experience mirroring their general posture. Make sense? So don't make it so hard by trying to copy every little technique because that's just fake anyway. What we want to do is get you into the energy of what they're feeling and experiencing so you can feel it too. Now at a Tony Robbins seminar they had an interesting exercise that we did with a partner where you would have two people with their backs to each other sitting in a chair and then someone would take your body and match it with that person exactly and try to match everything and then we found out that we actually shared similar um, experiences without any words that you could pick up on exactly what that person was feeling and thinking at that moment because your body matched their exact physiology. Isn't that cool? So that's one of the things that being in rapport does. Now another thing you're going to notice when you're really hitting it off with someone and you're just having this great conversation, take a look at your bodies and your posture and the movements. 
the chances are you are mirroring each other automatically. It's an unconscious thing to do that tells us that we're enjoying being with that person. Now, which came first? Is it because you're matching and mirroring them or is it because when you kind of get into rapport, you naturally match and mirror them? I don't know, chicken or egg, what are we gonna do? Well, I want you to get better at your rapport skills because it is really important for anything you're going to do in relationships, in selling things, in marketing, in just general happiness, in, you know, mess with people just for fun, <laughs> that I want you to look at your rapport skills. So there are some ways to help with that. And I've put a couple of downloads right down there at super cheap prices just because I love you that much so that you can get better at having instant rapport, uh, understanding body language, being able to connect with people and do it at, um, gee, a price that's practically free. Hey, good to see you. And you know, I'm really glad that you're sharing this experience with me. I love your emails and all your words of encouragement and those of you who live locally who have um, made reached out to connect with me. It's super, super cool. I'm really happy. <sighs> so you never know. If you had the guts to do what you wanted to do and to make a change in your life, what would it be? What would you like, you know, gosh, if you, if you really decided that, okay, I'll do this, and it'll work out and there's no downside and no risk, what would you do? Kind of cool to think about, huh? All right, well, I'll see you on Facebook, maybe Twitter, maybe right here, who knows, but you have an absolutely fabulous day. Thanks.